What I'm about to tell you could change your diabetes for the better. In this video, I'll share a golden tip and how to apply it, which can really improve your blood sugar control. I'll explain the top eight habits that help control morning blood sugar levels. Why is it so crucial in the morning? Because it sets you up for a good day. You'll see better results at lunch, dinner, and throughout the entire day. Starting with high blood sugar and making morning mistakes leads to higher levels at lunch, opposite of what I mentioned, but worse. This creates a cycle of high blood sugar all day, waking up with elevated levels and facing diabetes consequences. So pay attention to these eight habits, and then I'll give you the golden tip that I'm sure will be very useful for many people. What are the eight main habits? The first habit that helps control blood sugar levels in the morning is waking up and drinking two glasses of water. Why? We know that diabetics have a much higher chance of dehydration than people without diabetes. Why? To compensate, our kidneys naturally start eliminating sugar and glucose molecules. And along with these molecules, water is also eliminated. So our body starts to become dehydrated. If you drink two glasses in the morning, you help control this and your body starts functioning better. When I talk to diabetics, many don't practice this simple habit. Two glasses of filtered water cost nothing. It's quick and very easy to do. So I hope everyone watching thinks about hydrating first thing in the morning. When we're dehydrated, our blood becomes more concentrated, which makes things worse. If you already have high blood sugar levels, this can be even more problematic. Hydration is a simple, practical way to gain better control of your blood sugar. Another reason is that when we're dehydrated, our brain often confuses thirst with hunger. Did you know that? So you might eat more, which can worsen your blood sugar control. You'll consume more calories, often more carbohydrates. It's another reason to control your blood sugar levels early in the morning. Hydration is crucial. You can't go wrong with this one. Number two, another simple cost-free morning habit that helps you, which is waking up at the same time, even on days off. For example, even on weekends or holidays because this helps your body understand what time of day it is and which hormones it needs to produce. So have a fixed wake up time. It'll help tremendously. People without routines or set schedules have scientifically proven worse blood sugar levels. It's crucial to have a fixed wake up time to signal your body and hormonal system about the time of day because cortisol levels and not just cortisol but also growth hormone which older adults have too, isn't exclusive to children as we produce growth hormone throughout our entire lives. Glucagon, another hormone that raises blood sugar, is higher in the morning, as is adrenaline, which also increases blood sugar. These hormones need to be regulated for you to maintain ideal blood sugar levels. A routine is crucial for managing diabetes. Ever felt confused waking up with high blood sugar? Even after not eating, you went to bed with good levels but woke up with higher ones? This is due to natural hormonal production that occurs physiologically. In type 2 diabetes, we know the root cause is insulin resistance. A non-diabetic's body can compensate for this normal hormonal increase. This contributes to higher blood sugar and our liver can produce sugar too. The liver has this function of producing sugar. So even if you haven't eaten, now you know. Having a routine can greatly improve your blood sugar control throughout the day. The third habit to control morning blood sugar is adding fiber to your meal, which is simple. As you can see, even the third habit is extremely easy to implement. Add things like chia or flaxseed. I'm not talking about large amounts. For example, I like adding a tablespoon of chia to my yogurt. This provides a significant amount of fiber you need daily. It helps stabilize blood sugar by modifying digestion, which is great for diabetics. You won't get hungry at 10 a.m., just hours after breakfast. Your digestive system will function better. Besides other benefits, I've made a video about chia seeds reducing colon cancer risk. So add some fiber to your diet. If you dislike chia or flax, Choose naturally fibrous foods like low glycemic fruits. You can eat an orange with pulp to get the fiber benefits. Guava is another good option as it's rich in fiber. Eating an apple with the skin on is also beneficial. 
Notice I mentioned pulp and skin as they contain more fiber. Besides nutrients, you'll get fiber benefits from the whole fruit. Unpeeled apples help lower blood sugar due to their fiber content. Apples are also beneficial because of their low glycemic index. So consider incorporating these fruits into your diet. Another group of fruits are the red fruits. These are excellent. We know they contain anthocyanin, a well-studied substance for health benefits, including blood pressure control, which diabetics need to monitor. So blackberries, cherries, raspberries, strawberries, all have low sugar, high fiber, and nutrients like anthocyanin. They're a great way to start your day. Don't be afraid of fruits, okay? Yes, fruits contain fructose, that's true, but only excess fructose is harmful. These fruits won't provide significant sugars or carbs unless eaten in large quantities, which isn't the case here. Instead, they'll improve health with fiber and nutrients, okay? So focus on fiber in the morning. Tip four for best morning blood sugar control. Watch what you eat before bed. Avoid saturated fats at supper, like bacon, fatty foods, butter, or pork drippings. Eat lighter to prevent a sugar spike when you wake up. What's the issue with fats, especially saturated fats, in your last meal. They don't spike blood sugar immediately after eating like sugars do, but due to slower digestion, they keep blood sugar elevated longer, which can be problematic. For those with metabolic issues, as we've seen, it can lead to worse control of blood sugar levels. This can result in poor control. Consequently, blood sugar levels may remain elevated throughout the day. So be careful with your last meal, Avoid saturated fats. Number five, do some physical activity. Move in the morning. And why is this important? I'm not talking about intense workouts for busy people as many will relate, myself included. When I wake up, I can't hit the gym or go for a run, but I'm referring to any body movement. This could be a home workout, even yoga helps you move or climbing stairs, a quick walk around the block, just five, 10 minutes, even less, will help you better control your blood sugar levels. Often, I just go up one floor and back. That's it, but it helps me wake up and feel more alert. The sixth habit that helps control blood sugar is preparing your meals for the day and taking them with you when you leave home. This is crucial. For instance, if you work outside, you might eat at restaurants or near your workplace where you can't control the ingredients. Often, these are fatty foods that aren't the best choice for diabetics. Taking your own meals helps control and prevents you from eating sugary foods. When I go to work, I always bring an apple. Another quick tip, grab a healthy snack to take along besides planning your meals. This takes more time, but it's better to invest in your health than face diabetes complications. The seventh habit for better morning blood sugar levels is watching your intake of simple carbs or sugars. If you're diabetic and start with a sugar overload, you'll lose control of your blood glucose levels. Be careful with bread, cakes, pies, chocolate milk, and even natural juices like grape or orange and sugary cereals. These aren't forbidden foods, but watch the amount. Avoiding them in the morning is a good strategy for better control. The eighth habit that'll help you, which is also very simple to do, is adding something relaxing that will lower your cortisol levels, helping with this control. You've seen cortisol's importance, but try calming music or even five minutes of meditation. What's the tip I mentioned earlier that can really impact blood sugar control? There's a rarely discussed issue online that as an endocrinologist, I'll share with you. Many wake up with high blood sugar levels. What's considered high? Let's explain that here. For non-diabetics, levels over 100 mg slash DL or 5.6 mmol slash L are high in many countries. For diabetics, we aim for values up to 130 mg slash DL or 7.6 2 mol slash L. Many wake up with higher values due to unnoticed nighttime hypoglycemia. So the tip I'll share with you is, if you're following all these habits, the doctor adjusts your meds and you end up taking more and more. So check your levels in the early hours, around 3 or 4 a.m. mid-sleep. Take readings with your glucometer because many people experience dawn hypoglycemia and to combat this low blood sugar, our body increases those hormones I mentioned even more, glucagon, growth hormone, and cortisol. 
So you wake up with much higher levels due to very low levels during the night and these lows won't always wake you up. You might not always feel the usual hypo symptoms, cold sweats, shakes, or a racing heart. Often, especially long-term diabetics, won't notice any signs of these levels. The only issue is waking up with high levels, which disrupts your overall control. Did you know this tip? Now, checking your blood sugar at night isn't a daily thing. You don't need to wake up every night, okay? It's just an occasional check to note down and show your doctor to ensure it's not dropping too low. Have you experienced nighttime hypoglycemia before? Share in the comments. It's helpful for others to read, relate, and understand what really happens. As a diabetes expert, I've seen this often. Now I'd like to suggest a video about metformin, the most common diabetes drug. In it, I discuss its benefits, risks, and what to watch out for if you're taking metformin. Click here to watch the video and access this important information. Take care. See you next time.